question. Good question. Now, my, my little sister asked me a real good question. She says, why do they make us think that God is white? Why do they make us think that God is white? Are y'all ready for the answer? I, I got a short attention span. I can't answer too many questions at once. What's your, what's your question? Okay, y'all you gonna, gonna wait? Can y'all wait? Can you be patient for me? Can all my little sisters be patient with me? All right, can you be patient with me? I want to answer her question because it's going to answer a lot of y'all questions too. All right, so she asked, why do they make us think that God is white? Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. This is what, this is what Christ said. Everybody believes on Christ. Everybody heard about Christ. This is what Christ said out of his own mouth. Matthew chapter 24, verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed. Let no man deceive you. So Christ out of his own mouth said, take heed, so pay close attention, so that nobody does what? Let no man deceive you. Now y'all just walking up, so I ain't catch your names. What's your name, little sis? Zykira. Zykira. And your name, little sis with the red? Unique. Unique. Zykira, Unique, Legend, Nyla. What's your name? You Kimaya? All right, and Light Bright. All right. Christ says, don't let anybody deceive you. Right. Read on. For many. Oh, oh what does deceive mean? Because I got some young sisters out here. Deceive. Okay. Not quite. That's like condescend. Deceive. Who can tell me what deceive means? It's an easy three-letter word. It starts with an L. L. I. Who said it? Lie. Right. Lie. So, so Christ out of his own mouth. Says, pay close attention so that nobody lies to you and tricks you. Read on. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. So Christ himself tells us that people are going to lie to you, to deceive you, to make you believe that they are Christ right. when they really are not Christ. Right. Everybody understand that? Christ told us that, hey, sister, you unique? No, no, no. Uh, Kimaya. Kimaya. You, did you see the answer to your question? Why did they tell us that Jesus Christ is white? Read it again. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. You see that? Many people would come in the name of Christ and deceive many. And how did they do that? I want y'all to all come look at this picture right here. Give me, give me First Maccabees. Um, is it 3 or 48? Yes, sir. First Maccabees 3 or 48. Everybody look at this picture right here. This picture right here, everybody in the world says that these are images of who? God. Kimaya. God, you said God. You say the same thing? Jesus. Jesus. Okay, anybody else? Anybody disagree? Little brother, come on up to the front, too. Does any, does, was anybody else taught something different? Because I was taught that Jesus looked like this. You weren't taught that? Were most people on the earth taught that Jesus looked like this? Who got, a, who got a smartphone? Who got a phone on them? If you got a phone on you, I want you to pull up Google, type in Jesus Christ, hit images. And let's all look at it together. Everybody come closer. Y'all come closer. If you got a phone, go ahead, pull up Google, type in Jesus Christ. Type in Jesus Christ and then tap images. I want us to all see the same images. I'm going to do it too. You got it? You see that? She typed in Jesus. Jesus Christ. She typed in the same thing. Look at what she got. Who got something different than this? Did anybody get something different than this? No, we all got the same thing. So what the world is being taught is that Jesus Christ looks like this. Right. All right. Then Light Bright Lee. Light Bright, I want you to listen to this while you're walking away. How you doing, sis? All right. Now look, Christ says pay close attention so that nobody tricks you. Because the Bible is going to tell you exactly what Jesus Christ looks like. And now let's see. Y'all got the images on your phone. We're going to read a depiction, a picture of Christ. And I want y'all to tell me if it matches what Google says. All right? All right, Revelation 1 and 14. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says that Jesus Christ had white woolly hair. Who knows what texture wool is? So like dreads, thick hair. You see this hair right here? See this beautiful hair right here? This is what an example of woolly textured hair. You see my brother right there with the camera? You see his hair? That's an example of woolly textured hair. You see my beard? This is an example of woolly textured hair. You see your hair right here? 
no, no, no. See, look. See, look. See, y'all, y'all laughing. Y'all laughing. But look, listen, listen. Y'all laughing because white supremacy has taught us that white is right. Right. That blonde hair is beautiful. That straight hair is beautiful. That's right. So we've learned to envy our oppressors, the people that brought us over here in chains. That's right. The people that, if if we was in slavery right now, would have been whooping me on my back, and I would have all types of scars on my back. Standing on the Stand on. Those people have defined to us what beauty is. Right. And we've but been under their rule for so long that we've accepted their standard of beauty. Right. But God's standard of beauty is that this is more beautiful than any blonde lace front that you can ever go get. Right. Right. That's what God says. So your mind has to be reformed. Right? You got you got to change all the lies that's been taught to you, and you got to accept what God's standard is. All right, so read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Meaning he had a big afro. Read on. As white as snow. And he had white woolly hair. What happens to black men? If a black man is old, 80 years old, has a big afro, what color is it? Gray. 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 And gray, a, gray, a big gray afro looks kind of white. Am I right or wrong? Right. I'm right. All right, read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Uh -huh. And his feet. And his feet. A couple of y'all young sisters got your feet out. Little sis right here, you got your feet out, right? Now you got some beautiful feet. Y'all got beautiful no, feet. Yes, you do. Look, sister, don't let, look, don't let nobody tell you that you're not beautiful. Right. All right? And never tell yourself that you're not beautiful. I'm telling you, you got a beautiful face, you got beautiful hair, you got beautiful feet. Because right. your skin looks just like the skin of the man that created all of us. Right. Right. Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, had hair like that, so that's beautiful hair. Right. He had skin like this, so this is beautiful skin. He had feet just like y'all feet. Bring it out. So y'all got beautiful feet. Read on. As if they burn in a furnace. All right, now I'm going to ask y'all a question. Y'all pay attention. Y'all come back up. Y'all come back up. All right? If I burn any color in the furnace, in the fire, say I had a fire right here, a grill right here, I took, no matter what color it is, pink, blue, uh, red, gray, if I burned any of those colors, they all gonna turn the same color, and what color is that? Black or brown. Black or brown. Right. So if Jesus Christ had skin that looked like brass that was burned in the furnace, what color was Christ? Black. Christ was a black man. Right. Bring it out. But what just happened? When y'all Google Jesus Christ, what came up? They turned him to white. They don't want him to be black. Now this might go over a lot of y'all's head, but I'm gonna bring it out anyway. Give me Genesis 49. Cause I want y'all to, cause you asked this little sister, uh, Key Maya. Where Key Maya go? She right there. All right, Key Maya asked a good question. She said, well, why do they want us to think that Jesus Christ is white? All right. What I want y'all to understand, Jesus Christ is the greatest man that ever walked this earth. That's right. And the only way they would have been able to get my little sisters to wear pants, when God says don't wear pants, the only way they would have got all of us to celebrate birthdays, when God says don't celebrate birthdays. Right. The only way they would have got all of us to celebrate Christmas, when God says don't celebrate Christmas. Right. The only way they would have got uh, women to start liking other women and men to start liking other men, when God says none of that should happen, is to take the image of Christ and use that to teach you that everything is acceptable. You understand what I'm saying? Now, Genesis 49, give me verse 9. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Judah is a lion's whip. Uh -huh. From the prey, my he couched as a lion. So look, the Bible says Judah is a lion's whip. All right, so y'all, everybody here, now y'all understand you're not black, right? They were not black no, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me back up, let me back up. Your true nationality is not a color. The color that you all, the color that you see, y'all, you paying attention? What's, what's your name? I ain't get your name. Jade. Jade? All right, Jade. The color that I am is not my nationality, it's just a description. Right. Like I say Jade, Jade, you got a little fro, right? Jade is brown skin, right? Jade got gray shorts on, right? I'm describing you. But I'm not defining you, right? Your definition, your your nationality, according to God, you are an Israelite. Right. That's what we wanted y'all little sisters to understand. African American is a term that they gave us. Go ahead. She said that none of us is fully American. Don't we have like, aren't we like Cherokee and like other tribes? 
Hey, he is somebody too, Joe. Oh my God. What's up? What's up? What's up? Catch me up. Catch me up. Another question. Because we was in the house arguing about this because they tried to tell you something. Is this the same question you was just asking about American Cherokee? So look, American is a citizenship. It's not a nationality. We were all born here in America. The country that we were raised in is America, right? They took us from Africa, brought us to America, so they came up with that term African American. The so-called white man brought us here, right? But God sent the white man to get us, to punish us for breaking his commandments. That's what we come out here to teach y'all, all right? So our true nationality is we are the Israelites. We, we, are, we were a nation of people that lived in Africa, that were taken from Africa and brought over to America as slaves. Right. All right? So our citizenship is, yes, we are American citizens, but our nationality, the nation that we come from, we are the nation of Israel. We are the Israelites. That's right. Does that make a little bit of sense to y'all? Yes. Okay. Because y'all all remember Moses? Y'all remember the story of Moses? Y'all remember the story he led the Israelites out of Egypt and they went into the wilderness and all that? Those are our ancestors. Right. The people that were enslaved in ancient Egypt are our great, great, great granddaddies and grandmamas. Right. That's what we out here teach. Now, I ain't, what was your name? You, you, Zakira. What's your, what's your question, Zakira? Is God Jesus? No, is Jesus God Father? Is ain't Jesus and God the same person? No. 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 <laughs> hey, look, y'all asking good questions. Come back up. Come back up. Come back up. All right. Now look. Now look. Listen. Listen. Let me read. Let's go back to that scripture. Give me Matthew 24 again. Hey, look, y'all come closer. Y'all come closer and y'all focus. Y'all focus. Y'all focus. Come over. I don't, this, this speaker can get real loud. Y'all come like right over here in front of the sign for me. All right. We're going to read the scripture again. Check this out. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. You see what Christ said was going to happen? Christ said that people were going to come and do what to you? Deceive you. Meaning they were going to lie to you and trick you. I, I got you. Jay, give me one second. Let me finish this. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. So the people that came as Christ and they were faking was who? What man? The which one? The white man. The Caucasians. Now you're right. The white man, the Caucasians, according to God, they're called the Edomites. Edomites. That's what they're called biblically. All right. So God says that they would come here and they would deceive us. They would lie to us. And one of the things that they lied to us about, Sister Zaki. Zakira, I was about to say Zakira. Okay. Look, hair was white. No. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. White, like, like that. Exactly. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, it looked great. It looked great. All right. When a when a man get old and he still got a fro. Now don't do that. That's disrespect. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's disrespectful. So look, 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 look. The question that you asked is: Is God and is who asked that? Was that you, Jade? That was unique. Unique. You ask, is Jesus and God the same person? I'm going to give you some examples, and I want you to tell me what that means, all right? Go to Acts chapter 7. I, I got you next, Jay. I got you. I ain't forget about you. All y'all my little sisters, I'm going to deal with y'all. Y'all, yeah, y'all. Some of y'all like my daughters, all right? Who, who the youngest out here? How old are you? Five. Five? Yeah, I got a, uh, okay, I got an eight-year-old daughter. I got a uh, three-year-old. How old are you? Eight. Eight, yep. You just like my old. How old are you? Ten. Ten. How old are you, Jay? Thirteen. Thirteen. 13, 12, 13, unique, 14. Okay, okay. All right, y'all listen good. Y'all listen good. I want y'all to interpret this for me. Look, I want y'all to interpret this for me because I, I, what I said, what, what Christ said is people are going to come and lie to you, right? They're going to deceive you. So I want to see how much common sense we all got here versus what they taught us because they taught us that Jesus Christ, God, they all like the same, right? Okay, Acts chapter 7. You got what I want? Give me verse 55. Yes, sir. The book of Acts, chapter 7 and verse 55. But he, been full of the Holy Ghost. So we're reading a story about a man named Stephen. It says that he was full of the Holy Ghost. Hey, look, 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 pay close attention. Because you might have this question too. Everybody here wants to know, is Jesus and God the same person? Read on. Looked up, looked up steadfastly into heaven. So Stephen looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God. He saw the glory of God in Jesus Standing on the right hand of God. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It said that Jesus. So what would that mean? Are they the same? Or is it two? There you go. Do you see how easy that is to understand? Right. You see how simple that is to understand? 
but then they take they take a whole bunch of mythology and, and crazy stuff and then try to give us false doctrines about the Bible. Do they look alike? Yeah, they look ex exactly alike. That's his father. I thought you so who is the father? Who is the father? The, the father is the most high God. He's the highest God. He's the creator of all things. And then look. And, no. Mm -mm, mm. Y'all look, 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 mixing up a lot of stuff. Look, Jay, y'all mixing up a lot of stuff, all right? You got the most high God, all right? Go to go to First Corinthians eleven. I'm gonna make it real simple. You got the Most High God. You got Christ. You got men and women. That's how the order of everything was created. All right. So read this. First Corinthians chapter eleven and verse three. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is Christ. All right. He was our leader. He was here. He came and set the example for us to follow. Right. All right. Read on. And the head of the woman is the man. Remember who asked that question about the rib? Jay, the woman was made from the rib of man, right? You remember that story, Adam and Eve? Adam was created, then God made Adam go to sleep. He took a rib out of Adam and made Eve, and she was a help meet unto him. Everybody remember that? Jay, do you remember? You don't remember? All right, that's back in Genesis. All right, now listen, listen good. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God, proving us that what? Is God and Christ the same, or are they two different? They're two different people. Does that answer your question, Uni? All right, so God and Christ are not the same. Christ is Jesus. I'm sorry. Jesus is God's son. All right, Jesus is God's son. Who else has a question? Yeah, you, you were waiting. Okay. Can't you remember? All right, little sis right here. What's your question? All right, let's see if you remember her. <laughs> well, but do we baptize? We do, but we baptize different. We baptize different. I'm gonna show you what I mean. We baptize according to the Bible. All right. Now look, y'all listen. Y'all listen to me real good. Y'all listen to me real good. We're not out here trying to get y'all to go to church because you don't find people going to church in the Bible. The religion of Christianity can't be found in the Bible, right? You don't see people in the Bible going to church on Sunday. You don't see them jumping up and down. You don't see them paying tithes for money. None of the things that you learn in a Christian church on Sunday morning can be found here. Right. So we come out here to show you what this actually says so that hopefully when y'all get older, y'all can come join us. All right? Start applying God's commandments now and come join us as soon as you can. Some, some sisters have joined as early as 16. Dog. It's a dog. It's a dog. All right. What uh? What was the question again? What am I answering? Oh yeah, yeah. Give me uh, give me Peter, Peter three and twenty one. So the sister asked a good question. Do y'all baptize? Because in the Christian church, you got the baptism pool, right? You got people that call themselves Baptist Christians. No, no, no. I'm, I'm gonna show you how we baptize according to the Bible. First Peter chapter three and verse twenty one. The light figure where to? Start at verse twenty. Verse twenty. Which sometime were disobedient, when once the Lord suffered of God waited in the days of Noah, uh -huh. while the ark was a preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. The light figure went to even baptism. So it was. It just gave us a story of Noah. Who remember what happened with Noah? The earth. The ark is the. Uh, right, 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 right. But God flooded the earth with what? With what? With water, right? So now what? 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 What's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's him. He was the one that survived. Him and his sons and their wives and their family, right? So now it says, what we're talking about is a like figure. So a figure means that it's. I right, be quiet, little sis. All right, we're trying to study the Bible. All right. So it says a like figure, meaning that it's a similar to, meaning that it's a, uh, it's like a. Mm, I'm trying to think of an easy word. We're just going to read it again. Verse 21. Verse 21. The light figure. So we're talking about something that water now represents now in the modern times. Read. Well, too, even baptism do also now save us. So the scripture says baptism now also saves us. Do y'all want to be saved? When Christ returns, like we want to be able to join with him in his kingdom, right? So the scripture says that this baptism that we're speaking about this baptism that we're speaking about is going to save us. Read. Not 
the putting away of the filth of the flesh. But it's not talking about the putting away of the filth of the flesh. What do we do every night or every morning to get rid of the filth on our flesh? We take showers, we take a bath, we use water. But the Bible says the baptism that's going to save us is not that. It's not that. So now we got to understand what's the baptism that's going to save us. Read. But the answer of a good conscience towards God. You see what's going to save us? A good conscience toward God. What's your conscience? Mm -mm. Not quite. Mm -mm. I'm going to give y'all a hint. How you think. And your thoughts are going di to dictate what? No, no your, your thoughts are going to dictate your actions. If I'm thinking about smoking weed, eventually what am I going to do? I'm going to smoke. If I'm thinking about having sex, eventually I'm going to do what? Right, if I'm thinking about robbing somebody, like, yo, that's a nice chain that he got over there, bro. Yo, eventually I'm going to do what? I'm going to snatch the chain, right? So, but what we have to have, according to God, is a good conscience toward God. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And fire!